Hi, Robert Anthony here from Mac Tuts Plus. One of my favorite features inside of OS X has got to be Spotlight. I have honestly never seen so much utility packed into such an inconspicuous feature. You may already know that Spotlight is available here in the menu bar, as well as integrated right into Finder. But Spotlight is also used in an amazing way that you may not be familiar with, and that's inside of Smart Folders. Smart Folders use Spotlight to dynamically update their aggregated content based on search criteria that you can specify. This means that you can create a folder to show anything from all the music or Word documents on your Mac to something very specific, like showing you all the image files that you've downloaded and marked with a comment, but only within the last week. There's a few ways that you can create a new smart folder. From the menu bar, you can select File, New Smart Folder, or use the keyboard shortcut, Command Option N. You'll notice that the only thing that shows up is a Finder window. This is because smart folders are using Spotlight at their core. So another way you can quickly make a smart folder is to just start a Spotlight search in any open Finder window. Remember, smart folders aren't actually moving or copying any of your files on your Mac. They are dynamically showing you the results of search criteria that you specify for them. You can decide what will be shown inside of a smart folder with a surprising amount of control. If you open up a new Finder window and you begin a spotlight search, you will see a list drop down that is giving you some options. This is how you begin to build your smart folder. I'll select image as the file kind, and now spotlight is showing me all the file types it recognizes as an image file. A search bar will appear across the top of the finder window, allowing you to choose where you want to search. You will see a save button that you can click to save your search results as a smart folder. A familiar save window will show up, allowing you to name your smart folder and choose a location to save it in. I'll cancel out of this, and here you can see a little plus sign. This is where you can add another search criteria to further refine your smart folder contents. A new attribute window will appear. They work in pairs, for example, file kind, and then you can select document. The most common options are in the list, but you will see that there is an other option at the bottom. Selecting other will give you an extensive list of options you can choose from. From here, you can really go to town and make your smart folders show you the files that you're really wanting to find. Here's a simple example of how I use smart folders. So I have my hand in audio production, so I have a sound library here on its own hard drive. I have a huge collection of samples that I've gained over the years, and what I'll do is I'll browse through them and I'll mark audio files that I really like. So say I really like these audio files right here. I'll go ahead and mark them as red, but I don't want to have to remember where they are, so I'll create a smart folder here. And I'll choose other and I want to show file label. I'll select to show red and there's all the samples that I've marked with the file label red. So now, whenever I'm browsing and I come across a sound that I like, I can mark it as red. And if we go back to the smart folder here, you can see that it's dynamically updating based on the files that I've added. Smart folders are a great way to stay organized with your day-to-day -day work and can also be used to streamline your workflow, like with audio, video, or graphic design. I'm sure you can think of a few ways to use smart folders in your day-to-day -day routine that will help you get the most out of your time. This is Robert Anthony for MacTuts Plus. Thanks for watching.